All right, y'all. Unfortunately, we have an update that's not good up in the Sonia Massey case. Now, it looks like um, Grayson, which is the officer uh, that, you know, unalived Miss Sonia Massey, um, he is, he went up for an appeal to be released. So his lawyers you know, ended up pretty much going up asking the judge for him to be released before his trial. And that is in January, January the 15th. Now, um, he he's still being charged, but it looks like the appellate court has approved his release. And as we speak right now, they're setting up his stipulations on what he can and cannot do. Now, this is a um this is really like a kick in the gut to a lot of us because it's video evidence of what he done. So we trying to figure out what why are y'all what's up with releasing him and it's video footage of y'all arresting him for some reason, apparently because of the video footage. Now you saying it's not enough. And I I'm confused. Of course the family is very upset about this, but let me show you an article of what the appellate court is talking about. Make sure y'all all following the page and like the video. So look, as I was stating before, on actually on Wednesday before we was getting ready for Thanksgiving, it looks like his lawyer, uh, because the judge denied his uh, pre-trial bail or whatever, so they decided they wanted to send this to the appellate court. And in the appellate court, it says on Wednesday the 27th, uh, the district court of appeals ordered the trial court is to re reconsider its decision on holding Grayson in jail pending the trial for first degree murder and official misconduct saying pretty much saying that he's a danger to the public as a private citizen whether um than a law enforcement and so it looks like um of course the motion has been um accepted and it is likely that he will be released on this Friday y'all it's crazy how this is happening right now because like another content creator said, this is like Trayvon Martin all over again. I feel like we in deja vu over again. And on top of that, y'all already know that Trump did say that he wanted this man to be pardoned. So it looks like that he's going to be released for his pre-trial. And again, the trial is on January the 15th. Of course, the family is very, very upset about this. So y'all already know what we got to do, right? Yup. So I need y'all to be getting to that appeal, appeal it court, calling Illinois. Is I think it's making Illinois where the jail he's being held at. It needs to be some pressure behind this because ain't no way. You don't get to spend Christmas with your family, sir, when you done took this woman away from her family. And that whole situation could have been de-escalated. De-escalated. But you decided because of your badge that you wanted to take someone's life. And I don't understand how the court is saying that you you good enough to be arrested, but you're not good enough to be, be held after you, you're being prosecuted for first degree murder. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. So again, y'all, y'all be talking about, I talk about a lot of stuff. I'm bringing awareness to this, guys. And I hope that y'all make this, uh, this video go viral. If not even the video, just this topic. I don't care who is talking about it. We need to be pressing this because ain't no way that this man finna get out for Christmas and this woman's family is still grieving and still trying to heal from everything that's going on. So y'all tell me what y'all think about all of this in the comments because I'm just real frustrated right now.